What's going on everybody? Normally I don't do these types of videos. I like to have real hard evidence on whatever I post out there. This here is a straight rumor. Nothing is proven fact. I've been tracking this stuff for probably close to four weeks now. And I cannot dig up anything other than a little bit of uh, gossip, we're going to call it. But recently, this was brought into blowout forums where people have been talking about it as well too so i'm going to get into the story here but i just want to make sure full disclaimer this is a rumor um this is not any kind of facts out there the only fact i can offer you is this Lamelo ball did have or does have a panini college autograph license contract thing and it's proven well why very easily because we could see he has autographs for that only. The rumor out there is is that LaMelo Ball has not signed his Panini NBA autograph contract. Now, this contract was offered to him. He declined and said he wanted more money. After Panini saw how crazy everything was been selling, they're like, all right, we'll give him some more money. LaMelo in return said, no, I want even more than that. Now, that does make sense. Now, here's where a lot of the rumor stuff comes into play at. And if anybody has information or links to any of this stuff, please put it in the description. That way I can find or in the description. Wow, in the comments. So I can try to find it. Somewhere out there, LeVar Ball is on doing some type of video. Now, I don't know if this was just like through some little local YouTube or local news thing, or what it may be, I cannot find it. I've been digging forever. LeVar, LeVar Ball has stated LaMelo will not be signing his Panini NBA um, autograph licensing and that he plans on using the Big Baller brand somehow with it, developing LaMelo a website where we're going to have to send in cards for LaMelo to autograph and pay him directly instead of Panini. I will say, LeVar Ball has stayed. None of his kids would sign with Nike. None of them have. I've seen Puma. I mean, I don't know. Take it as a grain of salt. Like I said, this is all straight rumor out there. Now, if any of this would happen to be true, because we know LeVar does spurt off things at all times just because he wants to be in the media and stuff. But I, like I said, I can't find nothing on it. This opens a big can of worms with a couple ways onto it. One, if this is just some kind of fetched out um, social media gossip that's been really kept down low for a while, and now all of a sudden people are putting it out, it's either one, it's going to be true, or two, it's to price up all the college stuff to go through the roof and to drop the price of redemptions with a fear that this guy's never going to sign them, and also to drop the price of all of uh, his rookie year product that contains autographs into it that's NBA. I've done a lot of thinking through the time of anybody that was like within a top 10 pick. And it, quote me if I'm wrong, somebody out there might know. I'm just using NBA and, 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 and for a while. NBA and NFL on this. Because I don't want to have tops into it because Bowman first could take a while until we see the rookie card and autographs. Well, you guys get the point. Just using basketball and football. I can't think of anybody that's gone this long and not had a either NFL or NBA autograph put out by this time frame. I don't, I'm not using Ben Simmons because everybody knew that he was signed with Upper Deck and stuff like that there. But with the whole thing with the people saying it could have been due to COVID, he hurt his hand and all this stuff. Well, they've been out of season for a while. I mean, we see autographs of every other guy out there but him. Even Redemptions have come, been coming back on Anthony Edwards and everything. Um, I'm sure there's a couple other guys that we haven't seen yet. I'm um, like... Avidia, I don't know if he actually has a NBA uniform one yet or not out there. But th this just really caught my attention to where I didn't want to post anything onto it because I wasn't real sure. And I've hit a, pretty much a stalemate to where I can't find any information. And a lot of people post great comments on here. 
And I'm hoping somebody give me a little help on too, because I'm kind of curious. One, I don't own any Lamelo College autos, and I don't have any redemptions, so I'm not a player in this at all. But it just makes an interesting topic for once. And I try not to really use the gossip mill for videos, but if this is, ends up being true overall, he doesn't sign. Can you think NT's coming out here shortly, and he's on there, you know? How are you going to replace one of these redemptions, boom, right here? I mean, think about this. NT is going to demand a high amount of money. Even if, say, you have a $20,000 redemption right now, something out of 5 or 10 or something like that that sells for that kind of money, the odds of Panini having something that will match something like that, one-on-one -on -one just states that they have to give you a replacement card. It's not cards, plural, it's card. It's pretty slim, and as many as they have out there, that would drain them. They don't have Jordan, they don't have LeBron, so that kicks out all those autographs. I mean, even Tiger Woods, that's upper deck only, too. But I really sat there and thought about this. I mean, think if you pull an NT that's selling for six figures, what are they going to give you at six figures? It's comparable in price, in market value. I, I can't see them doing it. You'd have to accept other things. I mean, are they going to end up giving you like $21,000 cards for the, just the one? I know a lot of people would be upset over that. I know they would. There was another thing where I saw somebody saying that they heard LaMelo was not going to start signing until 2022. I don't know how factual that is either. But the only thing I could ever find out it talks about is his college stuff with his Panini contract. Uh, it would be nice to know these kind of things ahead of time. And if Panini doesn't produce this, it opens up grounds for all kinds of stuff. Like this whole year's product will drop completely in value. I don't know to what, but it will drop because you're talking about the highlight right here of it, the rookie of the year, LaMelo Ball. Whether you agree it should have been him or Edwards, it, it's still a lot of hype behind it. Because um, you see what LaMelo sells in at it, four boxers, half cases, full cases right now. It's some crazy money, crazy money. I've heard people say that you could do a class action lawsuit against it, but, I mean... Seriously, when you think about it, they need to wrap you up forever with that stuff. And by the time it happens in three to five years, Lamella might be hurting for money and start signing all this stuff too. I just think it's wrong if the player's not in contract with them that they can't, they shouldn't be producing them. Like I said, I don't know how true this is. You can see that Lamella redemption just expires next December. I mean, we do have Luca autos out there, but. Um, I know some of his, there's a couple things of his that was redemption, but there's not enough of that to go around. There really isn't. So I'm hoping somebody might have heard something about this out there. I mean, if you have, like I said, leave something in the comments so I can try to look it up. Like I said, recently Blowout just started talking about this. And, of course, I think it's only like two or three pages worth of comments right now. I, I've heard about this now. It's probably going on four weeks. And it's been set on my back burner to where it's just stumped me. It makes me just wonder completely with these this whole redemption process that I've never really agreed with to begin with. That, you know, what happens if something's not produced at all? I can remember when Upper Deck didn't produce a LeBron auto for me for, oh gosh, that was going on four and a half years and literally, I had to have a supervisor call me at that time frame because this was out of five, out of five autograph. And we had he had to give me a list of stuff that there was so we could talk over because it just wasn't like pick your player type deal. And I mean, I'm not going to lie. They really hooked me up because of the whole thing onto it. Funny part is, maybe a year ago, LeBron actually signed those cards. <laughs> and I'm just like, wow. But, I mean, I did get a nice Jordan auto out of it, so I can't complain because I'd rather have Jordan than LeBron. Oh, wow, what a rumor. Like I said, straight rumor. I'm not too sure the truth behind it, everybody. But it's something I wanted to bring up. I've been kind of hesitant on posting about this, but now that Blowout's been talking about and stuff, I figured it makes an interesting conversation out there.
And you never know, somebody might know where this video link thing is with LeVar Stateness, and it would really start putting stuff out there. And I mean, just think about it. Panini's not telling anybody anything on to the stuff, and then all of a sudden something like this blows up on social media. They're like, no, no, we got a contract. He's going to start signing a month. I, I don't know. No idea. Everybody knows the power of social media on to this stuff to begin with. But I don't think I can recall anybody's not having like a full NFL or NBA uniform like already after the season's ended. And we're talking about product that's been out for like, wow, over a, probably close to a year now. I'm trying to think because I know with COVID some of this stuff got jumbled up. But there's nothing to him out there in NBA uniform at all. I can understand like if he had still like redemptions maybe for um, prism draft, contenders draft, stuff like that out there. I probably wouldn't really be too worried because I know there's a couple players out there like that, but could it be true? I have no idea. But I figured I'd bring it up for everybody. Maybe somebody has some good comments on to it. What you guys think would happen if you're holding one of these redemptions? What do you plan on doing? Do you plan on selling it still? Do you plan on holding it, seeing what happens? I mean, heck, who knows? Maybe they'll just make up, um, some kind of crazy boxes again, like how they do with uh, redemptions you've been waiting on for four or five years, and you get some kind of like one on one auto in it and stuff. We used to call them the white boxes back in the day. I don't know what they're called anymore out there. But all right, figure out time to toss this up there, see what everybody knows on to it, see if there's any feedback that um, people might have already known. You never know. We got a big community out there and a lot of people, I mean, already probably know onto this. A lot of people might not. Might be just some people. I have no idea. All right, everybody. Take care of a good one. See you all next video.